short on time but want to maximize your gym performance and gains, watch this. Our next caller is Felix from Louisiana. Felix, what's going on, man? How can we help you? Hey, uh, first off, I want to just say thank y'all. I uh, really appreciate the opportunity to ask all this question. But um, one of the questions I wanted to ask you is I'm kind of running through the MAPS, maps uh, aesthetics right now. And uh, the program does take a good bit of time, uh, about 90 minutes if I do all of the movements and exercises and sets and so forth. And uh, I'm, I currently am a dad of four. And uh, so time is, a you know, not a lot of it. So I'm trying to condense the workouts down. And I was wondering if using supersets is something that is recommended or, or, or you can do in uh, a MAPS program. I, I've, I've seen some of the programs and only a few use supersets or they use um, uh, agonist supersets, not antagonists mm -hmm. and so forth. And so I was just kind of interested to see what y'all's thoughts were to cut down on time, length of the program um, or just move, removing movements altogether. So yeah. just curious about supersetting exercises well, in the program. So I, I know you don't ideally want to edit programs. So Yeah, no. Um, right. Well, actually, ideally, you do want to modify programs to fit your individual body and needs. Uh, however, it's a good idea to go through the programs first, the way that they're laid out, and then start to – because here's the deal. We create programs for – the masses. Um, so it's never going to be as good as an individualized workout. Okay. That being said, you got to figure it out and learn how your body responds and don't just change the programming on the fly because anytime you change the programming, you run the risk of making the program less effective. Again, that being said, you might be in a situation where you got to do that anyway. And so it's okay sacrificing some of the programming because it just doesn't work with your with your schedule. Hey, kids are more important. Yeah, so you know that's okay. I, I would say this: you're probably better off just shortening the rest times overall, um, rather than doing supersets. Supersetting is more of a program change than you know cutting some of the rest period short. You could also try something like this. You know, Maps Aesthetic is a three full body day workout, and then you have focus sessions. You could try saving. Mm -hmm some of the exercises for the focus session. That's days. what I hundred percent what I would do. I mean, the focus sessions okay. are only like 20, 30 minutes long. So, mm -hmm. uh, what I've done with clients that don't, don't want to miss anything that's in the program is, Hey, take two or three of those exercises on the foundational days, move them over to your focus days. Mm. And then you'll still end up hitting everything you want. Also, uh, the reason why, too, I, I think Sal's not recommending to superset right now because that might be an option in another program. This program actually has that. So you, I think it's phase three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it yeah. is. Phase three, yeah. you're going to get into a lot of supersets. And the idea is that you, it's it's novel when you get into that. So you don't want to be doing it for the entire program. Not that we couldn't. And then the, then the other thing is uh, also, I don't know if you have any other programs, but there's other programs that are probably a little more conducive for, you know, a dad who's got a lot on his a plate. Less volume, maybe. Yeah, yeah, and I mean you can yeah. you, you can build an incredible physique running maps anabolic and that's only a 3 day a week type of a program. I just I think we all tend to go towards the one that, you know, is the, the bodybuilder inspired or changing aesthetics and, yeah. and you know think that you need to train 6 days a week in the gym and it's just not true. I mean, I run yeah. more of an anabolic style routine most of the time. So there's nothing wrong with you, you know, switching out using their program or mm -hmm. modifying it like we, like Sal said, um, or putting it on the focus days. I like that a lot. Yeah, I would just steer okay. clear of like, yeah, changing the the kind of adaptation we're seeking. So that's like, the, if we're doing superset, we have that intentionally in phase three. Uh, so you focus on that. But like in terms of, uh, you know, if it's a time issue, you know, kind of scaling back and maybe um, uh, taking a, a bit of the volume uh, out, but but sticking with the same type of, uh, you know, rest. In, in rep range. Yeah, and now you, yeah. Did, you did mention supersets with agonist, antagonist. So Yeah, so my background, so I was a personal trainer for mm, six, eight years, and then I made a career change. Um, and so I, I've always understood, I think I've seen y'all talk about compound sets versus supersets. Um, that my mind always was supersets could be antagonist or um, agonist muscles. And so I was thinking with this more so, not so much the same muscle groups, but doing, you know, like a chest back yeah. for the sake of sa uh, saving time. Yeah, so that's, that's good, more of what I was thinking. And you know, the reason why I chose Maps Black uh, is because I've always been a performance-driven person, sports, mm -hmm. athletics, and so I wanted to try something. I've never, I've never done any type of bodybuilding program oh, ever, oh, good choice, and so man. I wanted to try something different. Yeah, good. And on uh, you. that's why I chose this one. So, yeah. Well, Felix, yeah. okay. With considering your background, which means you know, you know some stuff, and what you said about antagonist supersets, or you know, otherwise known as maybe compound sets. 
Yeah. That's less of a program change than a superset for the same body part. Not so, a bad strategy at all. Yeah, so I do that sometimes. Now, the only challenge is your stamina, you know, might be mm -hmm. a bit of an issue, but going from bench press to barbell row uh, is very different than bench press to fly, right? For for the yeah, team. So yeah. you can definitely do that. You can definitely try that out. It doesn't change the programming or the adaptation nearly as much as a superset for the same body part. And again, I do that sometimes where I'll go back chest, back chest, you know, bicep, tricep, bicep, tricep, you know, type mm -hmm. of deal. Okay. And as far as other programs go, just curious, uh, for a dad of four, uh, what would be some of the other ones maybe you would recommend Anabolic. to run after this? Yeah, Anabolic. Maps Anabolic or Map Strong. I bet you would love Map Strong. That is a great, that is such an underrated, great program for building muscle. With your athletic background too, I think you'll love it. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 I appreciate that. Do you have I access? Really do. By, by the way, do you have access to Map Strong? Because I'll, I'll just give it I to do. you. I do. I just purchased it during New Year's. So. Oh, well, you're all set. And, uh, what, what about Maps yeah. Anabolic? Let me give you something. What do you got? <laughs> what do you got? I, I do got? not have Maps. I do not have Maps Anabolic. Oh, right. then for sure. Because <laughs> Anabolic is another great one. I mean, yeah. that's a three day routine. And, it, it, you know, being a busy dad myself, I tend to fall back on that one a lot. I yeah. think all of us do, to be yeah. honest. Yep. I think uh, yeah. I think that's yeah. a, run that a common bit. program for all of us. Yeah, I'll send that over to you, right? Well, I appreciate that, guys. Thanks, Felix. All right, thank y'all. You got it. I like this question um, <clears throat> because this is kind of this. It was neat because obviously he he knew what he's doing, right? He's yeah. not like completely uh, newbie at all. Um, and I think we have the people have this idea that you have to follow the programs to a T, and uh, you, we actually and we don't say it as much. We used to say it a lot when we first started mm -hmm. um, that we recommend that you modify. You run through it one time as close to it as possible. And then you start to to modify it for you, your body, your time, all these things. And really all the suggestions that we said and he said, none of them are wrong. Right. You know, it's really just, it's playing around with that and seeing what works best for you. And, you know, yes, the programs are, are best, I think, ran uh, if you run it to a T, but let's be honest, none of us do that. You know I mean, yeah. nobody in here pulls out their phone and runs maps anabolic or aesthetic exactly how it's laid out. Most of us follow the programming and then modify it a little bit how it is. Yeah, I think there's this, um, there's this conflict that people have, which is I want to do the most po effective possible programming for my goal, but they don't put in their goal their lifestyle, which, well, my goal is also I got to be out of here in 60 minutes. Uh, maybe I'm more tired or I have pain in this particular joint or, you know, here's a muscle group I want to develop a little bit more. Like that's all part of your goal. So modifying your workouts means optimizing your workout for all of that, not just like what's the best for bodybuilding or what's the best for, you know, body sculpting or performance. You got to look at all of it and that's okay. There's trade-offs, but there's nothing wrong with that because like, like with Felix, you know, he's got, he doesn't have a lot of time. He, he's got kids. So that's part of it. So is he going to, Build less muscle as a result, maybe. Who cares? Like this is obviously important to him, so yeah. change the workout. Yeah, it's it, it kind of highlights one of those uh, parts of, the, of our business that we we started to work on, and uh, people don't really understand that we have like modifications available too. Like if you have different types of pursuits and you want to be able to incorporate those within our main staple programs, we do have maps mods, and you know that's something that we are planning on expanding upon as well. But uh, yeah, it's we. Our intention was always to be able to integrate, uh, you know, your specific needs and make it more individualized, uh, you know, the best we could. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here and be sure to subscribe.